So I found this at the farm and you know, I've tried this before and I don't like the taste so you they do have a little recipe. I guess they want you to put it. It's very small to read. Where is it? They want you to put this with um it's called an apple carrot smoothie, one slice, one ounce slice carrot, whatever, you know, you get the ingredients, one uh, one chopped apple, cup of water, one cucumber. Now, I don't know, I'm going to be chopping everything up just for this. You know, maybe if I wanted to try something a little bit more complicated like that, but um, I'm just going to put it in some apple cider. It's one teaspoon, like probably this size, one to two teaspoons. This might even be a little bit bigger than a teaspoon. All these spoons are different, but um, like I said, I didn't like the taste of sp spirulina. It's a super food, plant-based. It's really good for you, but it just, uh, I never, I bought a big container, and so this would be more my speed because I really, I know it's good for us, but I cannot get through a container. And it, this was about, what was it at the farm? Like 12 something at the farm we just went to, the Confreda farm. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get more because everybody knows we're just we eat vegetables, but we're just still not getting enough nutrients in our vegetables. And I love 310 protein over there. It's way over there. I'm almost out of it, but I have to get off that because there's just way too much sodium in a scoop. There's like 290. My mother pointed it out when I showed her. Like, look at all the sodium. Like, no wonder why this stuff tastes good. There's it's loaded with salt. So I ordered a different protein called tone it up in chocolate I'm gonna try that but I guess this has protein it says it right on it that um that it's 58 percent protein it said somewhere on the label um, I'm reading it that's why it's crooked but yeah right there 58 percent protein with anti-inflammatory benefits um, it's just nutrient dense like it said it's just a superfood and anti-inflammatory like I know antioxidant would work yep nutrient dense vegan gluten free alkaline food antioxidant so I'm still getting it but I can only stomach this stuff maybe like in little teaspoons and then I found this this is nice for Thanksgiving pickled baby beets beets are another super food but since it's pickled I don't know if I could share it with my daughter but I think I'm gonna run it under hot water and give her a little bit because I do sprinkle things a little bit with um we have organic salad dressing so maybe she will it won't be too strong for her but this will be good to keep on hand beets for Thanksgiving and then I found this since the weather is warm but it smelled so good it's just a shea um a shea, it has shea butter and it's just out of all of the ones they had at the farm this one smelled so good moisturizing soap with shea butter and those are just these are just the special little finds and the rest was just um, some homemade ni a nice looking tuna salad yeah I got what else did I get I got broccoli from the farm mixed with some chicken that I'm gonna share with her nice looking tuna salad like it was really fancy with tomato and black olive and also just your regular food bananas and I, I got some carrots so pretty much that's it that's my little haul